Police to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. All right, last thing, helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? You have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. Flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Think of it like swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. Well, all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Docking complete. Heading inside. What of that? <sighs> I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna sit for a second. It's uh This is all Hey, take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, there's... It's not as bad as I expected. Does, um... Is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these... Well, should hang them up at some point. A uh, little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You 
You said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So yeah, this is... space. Uh, just... Th Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the, the line should be fixed by now, but... Yeah, it's... you know, Trent, so... Who knows? I miss us. I, I miss... You know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should... You should get to bed. Big day tomorrow? Best get some shut-eye. Stay down here in bad dreams already. Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of March. I hope you have a productive day. Is there any coffee on this wreck? Checking. Yes. Morning, Tim. There he is. How was the first night? It was, uh... It was good. Yeah. If the whole giant oil conglomerate thing doesn't work out, Unitrench has a bright future in mattresses. Only the best for our chosen few. Now, ready to start the day? Raring. Right then. Head on over to the job board to your right there. We'll post up the daily tasks each morning. Simple as that. Simple as that. See you out there. Oh, what? Tim, I am officially a master recycler. Good way to reuse all the junk you may find out there. Now, we're trying to pin down where these comms glitches are coming from. Need you to check the local signals just outside. Follow your marker. I can do that. Stand up.
again. Like I'm going to be having any guests. Never had a dream. A nightmare. Quite like that. It feels like my brain's bleeding out through my eye socket. Okay, okay, let's just, uh, let's just go. pretty exposed. If there's a storm... No. Better. Better, better. Oh, head's still hammering that. Whoa. Are we moving? God, this headache. up before you rolled your carcass into bed, lad. Now, what's the problem? Just, uh, jerking in, I guess. Still finding my feet. Well, I'm about to have my third cafe of the day, so check the mission board and call me when you're out in the blue. Will do. And, uh, go easy on the caffeine, old man. <laughs> Roger that. Kiddo. Let's see if that did it. Uh, could you just... There we go. Don't call us, we'll call... Okay. Oh, hey, whoa. Whoa, 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 shit! Got a runaway container. Tim, I... There's... This cave is far too... There's no way it could have gone. <sighs> okay. Easy does it. What is that? I don't... What? Hey. Is this real? I can hear you. Me too. I, I can't believe you. Uh, Emma? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. 
Hi. How have you been? Yeah, is everything... Uh, sorry. No, no, no. Go on. Go on. I missed your... I, I... I was out on assignment when you... When you called and... Uh-huh. It's fine. I, I wasn't... No, really, it's fine. It's fine. So, how have you been? How's surface world? Good. Work is, um, hectic. They found a new subspecies of Sasteraceae, so I'm trying to integrate that into the syllabus last minute, and, and the Vibrio Parahemolyticus dissertations are, well, I, you get the idea. Everything's fine. <laughs> great. Great, great. Tired, but in a good way, I, I guess. Busy, tired. Unitrench is still Unitrench when it comes to quality control, you know. Well, good to hear that particular grudge remains justified. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, did you... Did you get my message? Yes. Yeah, I did. I just... Things are... I'm worried, Stan, about you. No, I... I, I don't want you to... This isn't healthy. It's been... It's been three years. Don't. I love you, and I miss you, but hiding yourself away won't... No, please, just... And you're not the only one who's suffering. But we cannot, we can't live there anymore. Back there. I need you with me here, now. I am. I am. I am with you. I mean, I, I want to be. But I told you. I... I still need time. Time to what, Stan? Because as far as I can see, you're just... treading water. I'm... I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't mean to upset... I just... Look, I heard there was a storm coming, and I wanted to try and beat you... Talk about this. What? I can't... Emma? The line's going... I can't. I don't want to lose another part of my family to that company. Fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, that's cold. And... I miss. Okay. Time to sleep.
Come in, Tim. Morning. Was just about to call. You need to... Way ahead of you. Pick up the missions. Ready to go. Good man. I'm sorry, Stan. I'm going to have to leave you. Big meeting coming up. Something about the production lines. Roger that. Good luck. Out. Yep. Bye for now. No, I'm coming. I said... Tim, I'm here. All right. We'll need to increase the pressure in the pipes to get the yield up. Uh. Uh. Tim? She's going up. Um. That. I miss you so, so much. Again. <sighs> the hell is 
it wrong with you? Why can't you just be normal? Emma's moved on, but you, stuck in your self-obsessed spiral of... And now you're seeing things. Get it the hell together. Tim? Yes, lad, I'm here. How are you? How are you holding up? What happened? The pipes. Don't worry about that. We'll get some drones down there ASAP. They'll take care of the leak. But there was oil everywhere. I, I, I thought I saw whales and... Stan, please. It's not good, I know. But Unit Trench is doing everything they can. No one expected this. Now, for safety reasons, I need you to stay put. Don't leave the life module. For how long? I don't know. Until you hear from me. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Stay safe. I mean it. That was too much. I could have... That was too much. I'm here. Everything all right? I, uh... No, not particularly. Yes, quite a mess back there. Look, this is outside of protocol, but we're sending down some more blueprints. Drones will be with you soon. Blueprints? For what? You'll see. Head outside and rendezvous with the carrier. Come on. Let's just go to bed. I didn't mean to! Pearl! <gasps> what the...? Oh, shit, 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 shit! Nothing work in this bloody place. All right, all right. What was the in the training we had? Uh, the fuses. Power issues stem from the fuses. Has to be that bloody storm again. Sam Array calling HQ. Come in, Tim. Tim. You there? Stan, how did you... thought you were offline. Never mind. Look, no time for chit-chat. What's happening? This storm, it's, uh, it's worse than anyone thought. Something broke loose. Uh, long story short, there's a fire up here that's stubbornly refusing to go out. Is it... Are you... are you okay? Yeah, well, no. Not really. Maybe... Maybe you can help. Tell me. There are fail safes for this situation. Drones are sent. Drilling is pulled offline. Crusty old sea dogs don't have to worry about possibly being evacuated. But the remote deactivation for the drills is back in the control center, which is now completely off limits due to the severe risk of burning to death in an oil-fueled fire. This is 
Officially unofficial, but I need you to head to the main drill site, Sector A. Get those things offline manually. Stop them sending the crew to the line. Send me the location. Done. I'm going to try to get the drones on site, but hell, those things are unreliable at the best of times. Okay, okay, yes. Back in Dustan. We're being moved again. Yeah. Hello? Hello? No. My dream. No, no, you can't be real. Nearly there. supposed to stop that thing. Your trench has been here for years. Enough. That's enough. I've done my part. I need to. I need to leave now. Stan! Stan, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Oh my god, what happened? Are you okay? Just tell me you're... I'm okay. I... The fires are on the surface. I'm... I'm fine. Oh my god, you have no idea how worried I was. I want you to come home, now. Emma, I can't just... Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You may not think you can, but you absolutely can. She needs me to... Sh she? Who? Some faceless unit trench executive? One of Tim's lackeys? No. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm seeing. Uh, I saw her, Emma. I saw her down here. What are you talking about? I didn't want to worry you, but it's Pearl. I saw. Pearl. I know this is hard to hear, God knows it's been hard to see, but I swear on my life, she, she came to me. I was on a routine maintenance run, just a clear up, up really, and, and there was, there was this light and a little bear, remember, Lumiere? I know, it was Emma. I need you to listen to me. Do you hear me? I, I saw Pearl. I'm gonna call Tim. I'm gonna call the police or the Coast Guard or wh whoever it is that's supposed to be regulating that f that that company. No, no, you're not listening to me. Because you are obviously not fine. You are very far from fine. I'm not crazy. I saw her. I touched her. <laughs> she saved my... my life down there. And Pearl? Pearl saved your life a hundred meters underwater? Was she wearing a diving suit? No, she was... Listen to yourself, please. Pearl... She's dead, Stan. She's dead. I don't know if you've got nitrogen narcosis or something, but you need help. And I'm gonna get it for you. I'm calling Tim. No, please. He, he won't. This is as much for me as you. I'm... I'm... You're what? It doesn't matter. I love you. 
I need... I need to sleep. I miss... It's been so long since... I need to sleep. from Tim. Team moved for safety reasons. Relocated to emergency comm ship. Tasks as normal. Fire is PR disaster. Clean up duties. Sorry, no contact soon. At least he's safe. According to the Unitrend spokesman, the fire is well under control and any wildlife impacted are being monitored by dedicated specialists. Indeed, from the shore here, there's little trace of any accident at all. The seas are calm and everything seems ship-shape and above board. Back to you in the studio. Looks <sighs> like the PR team are doing just... What is that? Jesus. What were they doing down here? Shit. Oh, no. Joe. My friend. I'm sorry I'm late, baby. I got caught up in... I had to... Daddy, Roger called me a name. A name? He said I was a, a dweeb. 
Roger said that? Yeah. Well, then, I guess I'll have to have a word with Roger. But, look. I brought you something. A present? <laughs> a present. What is... <gasps> Happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> this is Lumiere. Lumiere? This is Pearl. I want you two to take good care of each other. Okay? I promise. Thank you, Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye, Joe. Never wants their friends to die, but that's life. It's all a big circle. Circle? Yeah. Everything dies, and and when it does, it goes back into the earth and helps make new life. Even John Paul. Even John Paul. That's why it's important to remember them, the ones we lose. They're a part of that circle. And as long as we remember them, they're never really gone. Stress call from Sector B. Tim mentioned some of the drones have been sent over there, but this this is coming in manually from a relief team Alpha. Secure channel. No way to respond. Stan, come in. Finally, I saw the news. Is there fire? Finally out. We um. We took some casualties. Oh, God. Yeah. Press haven't found out yet, but they'll be hell to pay when they do. Did I do this? Is this my fault? 
What? The main flow. I... I increased the pressure, the accident. No. No, get that notion out of your head this instant. It was bad luck is all. The storm, you know. And the drill platform going haywire. It'll take years to undo the damage. But... Enough. We're getting you out of there. That's why I'm calling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's... Probably a good... Yeah, okay. Boat with the retrieval capsules on its way. It'll take a day or two. Until then... One final job. Sector B. Sector B? The distress call. Checking. I haven't... There's no record of any distress call from Sector B on this end. Hmm. Coming through loud and clear here. On the Unitrench emergency frequency. Odd. Tim? I knew they were hiding something. So... What's the plan? Head over there. Check it out. And stay in radio contact. Something fishy's going on here. Roger that. Setting out now. Main door's locked. From the inside. That's not... Silence. Not sure if that's good. Or very, very bad. Admin center proper now. Home sweet home. The SOS is coming from somewhere in that area. Check around. Moon pool. They had us do the evac training in there. Thought it was a lot of bunkum, but... Well... Tim, found one of the team. Can't be sure, but he looks dead. I don't believe it. Huh? Those rotten, conniving, C-sweet fuckers. Tim, this wasn't a relief mission. This was a search and destroy. What? The team. They were sent down here to wipe the servers, the records, everything. They initiated the evacuation. They flooded the place. We were never in any danger. They just wanted us out of the way so they could clean up their dirty laundry. Oh. Oh, shit. Now what? Keep going. Done. The lockdown's lifted. Come on. Come on. Nearly there. Anyone?
Sweetheart? What are you doing here? I'm waiting for Mom, Celine. I think you made her sad. What were we fighting about? We weren't fighting. We talked about them. But that fight... Hey, <laughs> the fight was no big deal, you know? Everything was... Everything's fine. I hope you know that Mummy and I will always be there for you, sweetheart. I know. Good. We both will. I know. the rig on the news. Worst platform accident in over a decade, they said. The environmental damage alone. And I can't even worry about that because my husband refuses to listen to reason. I'm coming back. All to chase some flight of... What? I'm done. It's all... done. I'm coming home. Tim's sending a boat. Tomorrow. I'm... that's... okay. Okay, good. Um, why am I not... Why do I feel there's a but? I just... I can't leave her like this. I think she needs my help. Pearl. Yes. And... what does she say? I don't expect you to understand. Understand? What is there to understand when you're not making any sense? I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm pregnant, Stan. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna have a. A baby. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I... I can't. Alright, look, I... I know I haven't been... In a, in a, in a way, I've just been... I... I Time I close my eyes, I see her, I I see you, I see us, and it and it never stops hurting. And you think it's been different for me? I haven't had a single waking moment of clarity in three years. But I I knew I couldn't let that pain define me, or I would never. sunrise tomorrow and Emma's pregnant what yeah 
Bugger me. Well, congratulations. How are you? How are you sitting with it? Ah, uh, still... processing. Ah, it's exactly what you need. It'll be perfect, I'm telling you. Hmm. What about you? What happens now? That is a little more complicated. You know, maybe I'll go back to the boats. There's still a few decent crews out there. As for the data Unitrends tried to erase, well, you know how clumsy I can be. No telling whose mailbox is letting up in. <laughs> I'll look forward to watching the fallout from a distance. Talk to you tomorrow. In person, this time. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sleep well, Stan. Rest. I need... Rest. Looks like a life module. An actual. There aren't many stations this deep. Must have come down on a landslide or something.
close. Eyes forward. Eyes forward. Keep moving. the covers now. Okay, Daddy. Wait, where's Lumiere? There you are. Been on quite the journey together, eh? Huh. Thanks for the ride. Found him. Think he was making a break for it. Maybe he was trying to find you, so you could tell us a story? Okay. Okay, what'll it be? The whale song. All right, love. All right. Settle down. The whale song. Once upon a time, there was a baby whale. A cute calf. Roughly three tons from head to tail. His mother 
was a different beast entirely. Over 30 meters long and 70 tons of love so motherly. The whale calf, not even close to her, worried without delay. Mummy, when you are gone, what will I become? Its mother would gently say, I will always be close to you. It was not a terrible lie to start, because our dead keep on living here, in our heart. But it wasn't fair for the baby whale, who had seen his father died from a harpoon's travail. He asked again, So where has Papa gone? His mother took a deep breath and replied, heads on, he is still here. His soul is swimming next to us, far and near. Then she added, I will bring you to a place without lies, a place without pretty sights. Always remember this, and you will move on. On the beach, where many corpses lie, whales in decomposition, Skin dry, regurgitated balls of plastic for pillows. The calf's eyes got wet, and before long, tears flowed, warm and clear. His heart heavy, he started a song, sorrowful and sincere. From the baby's ache, out of the waves, a miracle happened. The air started to vibrate, the ground to shake. One of the still bodies rose and widened. Despite the waste and the rubbish, against the fragile cycle, death was ascending to the sky. Across eternity's threshold, then death would fall down to feed the earth, continuing a never-ending cycle in which we always find a morrow. Okay, love. Time for bed. No, Daddy, please. It's, it's so cold down here and lonely. Stay, please. Oh, God. Sweetheart. I don't know if I can. <sighs> Could I really stay? Emma. The baby. I... I'm sorry, sweetheart. I've... Mummy needs me. We're having a... We need each other. I love you, Daddy. <sighs> I... Miss you. I'll always miss you.
sweet girl. My pearl. died three years ago. Seems like hardly any time at all. And an eternity. It was her love that hurt most. It's absence. Like when she'd jump onto our bed on Saturday mornings. When Emma sneak up behind her, lift her overhead. The house was empty without it but I still hear it every single day it's mine now and I guess that's the point life is one long series of partings but no one ever really leaves we move on knowing we carry them with us. Pearl is with me now. I will love her for as long as I love anything. But for the first time in a long time, I feel... unburdened. Free. Like I don't have to run from the future. I have to let her go. But I'll never leave her behind. Because none of us are alone. Not really. Pearl, I love you. you again. How did I get here?
Life is a cycle of comings and goings. A wheel brimmed with highs and lows. One passing slowly to the next. Life follows death. Follows life. Follows death. One can't exist without the other. Oil. The Earth's past, making its future possible. The lights of the future built on the destruction of the past. But I might stay here a while. Put my hand on that wheel. Let it slow. Life. Except when I 